I found this and wanted to share this with everybody because I know there's a lot of people, including myself, that think something pretty crazy could happen this September. Uh, someone wants you to know something important about 9-23, the 24th, 2015. This is almost kind of like the, the Mayan date calendar thing, though, where there's more than just one date. Because whenever the Mayan calendar thing, I, I found December 20th, 21st, 22nd. There were several dates, about a, you know three or four days long in there that people were saying something was going to happen. Same as this. I've seen the 20th, the 21st, 22nd, 23rd, and 24th. I, it's, it's just all one week, and it doesn't really matter. If you don't believe it, who cares? You know, but regardless, history shows that in September on these seven-year cycles, history shows that there's been some pretty crazy stuff that happens, anywhere from the 9-11 bullcrap attacks, the stock market crashes. I mean, history shows it. So I thought this was a pretty killer compilation of all sorts of stuff pointing to this time. Uh, we are literally being bombarded with dates regarding the end times, movies, books, games, etc. My conclusion from all this is someone thinks they know something big and is choosing to leak this info out slowly to the general public. First of all, for background on the dates, please skim through the information about the rapture puzzle to understand its significance at 922, 923, 924, 2015 as it relates to the end times from a biblical perspective. For more information, Google Biblical uh, Tetrad. You will get information about the recent four blood moons and blah, blah, blah. Okay? We all know about that, but let's just get down to these pop culture stuff. Everybody knows about the Deep Imp the movie Deep Impact, right? Black president, played by Morgan Freeman. If you look in the movie, there's a scene in the basement of the White House with a reporter that's going to break the extinction level event story and such to the public. She looks over her shoulder upon cases of a drink called Insure. Looks up the definition of, or look up the definition of of, the, of insure on the boxes of insure is a number zero zero seven zero one. If you run that as a, if you run that into a zip code search, oddly enough, it comes up for Puerto Rico, which is really weird. Testimony of this guy, and I showed I've shown this video before. I think you can still find it on YouTube. Now, this guy back in the 80s, he was re, he was interviewed, and he talks about. Uh, he was abducted by aliens, shown a holographic projection of a large meteor falling. To Earth near Puerto Rico, future visions including a one-world government, and so on. Um, there's also this. This also mentions that Efrain Rodriguez guy, which a lot of people don't really buy into, which is fine. But he has a big prophecy of the same thing: something hitting a meteor, asteroid, whatever, being Puerto Rico, as well as a lot of other places being wiped off the map. Um, also in the movie Deep Impact, we see entrance to enormous caves where people are entering. Over the door is, is the number 22. To the right of the door is number 23, but it looks sealed. On March 13, 2014, we had the whole French foreign minister, right? The guy said we have 500 days to avoid climate uh, climate change chaos. Uh, most media said he was referring to the upcoming national climate conferences in the fall and winter of 2015. The question is, why was he so specific about 500 days? So when he said March 13th, we have 500 days to avoid climate chaos. 500 days later is September 24th, 2015. Sorry, this thing keeps freaking out on me. Stupid uh, above top secret. Hold on a second. Let me pause and get this. Okay, now on to a bunch that I didn't know about. Little Shop of Horrors movie 1986 points to September 23rd in a decade not too far from now as the start of the Great Tribulation as the human race suddenly encounters a deadly threat to its very existence. 1997 movie Volcano. I've seen this, but a long time ago. Same with this. I don't remember either one of these scenes. A long time ago. 1997 uh, movie Volcano. Scene opens with the caption of the location on Wilshire Boulevard and the time 9.23 a.m. 9.23 a.m. next to a church cross could indicate an atonement, question mark. Later in the movie, there's a scene with a man in the car with a license plate that starts with 2.39, which would be the way most countries write the date of 9.23. After this, we see a volcano erupt and inexplicably what looks like a large fiery asteroid crossing through the night sky. A recent movie called This is the End reveals the 921 through 24 dates. We see the rapture event followed by the abyss opening and the hell is breaking loose on the earth. Right before this takes place, two of the main characters meet at an airport and the numbers on the clock point to 921, 22, 23, 20, and stop it to 924. I've seen that movie. It's, they're right about that. The movie Gone Girl came out on the Day of Atonement 2014. The movie The Missing Lady says, I feel like I could disappear. Also, in one of those scenes in the lower left, the words September 23rd, seven weeks home, appear for no apparent reason. September 23rd is also written on a piece of paper in the, in the, uh, of paper in uh, the missing lady's diary. 
movie Left Behind. I, I need to watch this one. This I guess this is that new one with Nicolas Cage. I'm pretty sure. I gotta watch that. Uh, coincidentally, the movie Left Behind also came out on the Day of Atonement 2014. In this movie, the characters are having a discussion in an airport about the end times and the biblical flood. Position between two of the main actors in the background is a lingering sign yellow that it has an arrow to point to Gates 923. The main theme of the movie is what happens during the rapture and how a plane piloted by Nicolas Cage. Man, who cares about the rest of that? Uh, never did see this. Evan Almighty. In the movie Evan Almighty, there is. Excuse me, sorry. In the movie Evan Almighty, there is a comedic retelling of the Noah's Ark story. We were rep repeatedly. Uh, told repeatedly by the mocking reporter that it's September 22nd, and we're all still here. Awkward. Uh, Evan Baxter, played by Steve Carell, twice announces the deadline of noon on 922, given to him by God in the movie. In the next scene, it's 923, and the water destruction is upon everyone who remains. In 2009, another movie called Knowing is rife with 923 clues. Everybody, well, I don't know if everybody's seen that. That's, 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 remember, if you haven't seen this, YouTube this. This is the movie that came out that had a damn near, and I mean, it basically was, no kidding. Um, I, I just, my computer's acting goofy. I really don't have the time to get all, I, I would like to have gotten a lot of examples and everything to show you, but I just I just don't have the time, man. I'm sorry. You can find this stuff easily for yourself. There is like a, a, screen, a screen by screen, almost damn near duplicate of, um, in this knowing movie, they had the BP oil spill. And then, uh, like a news re like Nicolas Cage in the movie was watching like a news report on TV of a BP of the BP oil spill basically in 2010. And this came out before it happened, before that actually happened. And then someone took a screenshot of the actual news report from the from the 2010 BP oil spill. I mean, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. It's crazy. In the recent released, uh, re recently released movie Tomorrowland, we were given some more clues. In the preview, you see a young girl is witnessing rampant looting and rioting on the east coast of the U.S. on TV. She picks up a magic coin and is instantly transported to a place that looks like heaven. In this scene, we see a digital counter that reads an atomic clock, 923, in big glowing numbers, followed by 100% po uh, probability. Um, and it just goes on and on, man. It's pretty neat. Um... Is there another one I really wanted to read that I, that I thought was pretty cool? Oh, yeah, that new Red Dawn movie, released on 11-21-2012, points to 9-22-23 as the start of the chaos erupting in the U.S. Uh, TV show Heroes goes on to talk about Lost, NCIS, David Letterman. I didn't know I didn't know this. And the final tap taping of the David Letterman show on CBS, CBS, uh, that's the Bell, by the way, part of Bell Saturn, Nazi Bell, CERN. There are many clues to 924 and even 911. The most obvious one we are showing an 80s, an old 80s TV clip of a woman dancing in front of a line of teenagers wearing football jerseys. The woman first passes uh, by a jersey in the middle with 24, then 9, then 11, then back to 9, and back to 24. It would almost be funny if it wasn't so patronizing. Actually, now I think about it, I didn't connect the dots. Aaron, I think that's what you sent to me, wasn't it? Aaron caught this and sent that to me. It is pretty weird. Uh, Aaron, if you if you see this, will you put that link below, please? Thank you. Awesome catch and work as always. Uh, oh yeah, and then the Illuminati card sees the time. That is a pretty that's a pretty crazy looking card. On the card, there is a strange picture that doesn't seem to go along with the instructions at the bottom of the card. It shows the Roman numeral nine next to a bloody sword position at 45 degrees. The sword is the sword is next to a clock with a small hand pointing. Between the nine and the twelve, if you take the sword and slash it, and eh, who cares about all that? But th this right here, this was this is what I wanted to talk about: the Philadelphia train crash and the large meteor collision that happened. Russia both happened at 9:23 a.m. in their local time zones. I don't know about the Russian thing, but the the Philadelphia train crash it, it did indeed happen at 9:23 a.m. That's pretty custom weird. And remember, that's where the Pope is supposed to go later this year. He's supposed to show up. Um, big, the big meeting of families, big world meeting of families. Uh, it's happening in September around that same time. I mean, there's I Frankenstein, I mean, the list goes on and on. It's it's pretty crazy, but yeah, that I didn't know about that. Uh, whenever the the train crash happened in Philadelphia, I thought that was pretty weird, and I thought that had something to do with the Pope visit, but I had no idea that it that it took place at 9:23 a.m. So I did actually go research that and validate that for myself when I found out this morning. That's pretty cussing weird. So I don't know. I mean, that's take a look at the rest of it. Um, 
pretty interesting stuff, man. Historically, we have proof that something happens, and then I want to show you this. This is my favorite. You know, Green Day, Saturn, God of Agriculture, so that's the color green associated with Saturn. Green Day makes me think Saturn Day, the day that never, the new day that never comes because we were in the Groundhog's Day. We keep doing the same thing over and over again, living the same day over and over and over again. So this, to me, makes me think Saturn's Day. And what's the name of the album? American Idiot. That was released September 20th, 2004 in the United Kingdom and September 21st, 2004 in the United States. And what's one of the biggest songs that we actually play in a grocery store. It's one of the songs because it's such a big hit. We play it in our grocery store. What do they have on it? Wake Me Up When September Ends. So, I don't know. I don't think it's all coincidence, but that's, that's just me. I'll leave it up for you to pick through this and decide. So, thanks to everybody. And everybody's been doing a lot of this stuff. Everybody's been passing around every, uh, anyway. But some of this stuff, I mean, there's just so many. It's unbelievable. So great work to everybody for putting, you know, adding their, their piece of the puzzle on this stuff. Really, really good work. So, you know, in my opinion, <clears throat> there, whether or not this is correct, it's been, it's been proven time and time and time again that before 9-11 there was, I mean, just like this, a thousand things that, that pointed to that date. So whether or not this is the correct timing, there is a whole bunch of stuff out there that is pointing to a certain date and time that something's going to happen. It's, it's already happened before. It's going to happen again. Okay? Um, September, March, I'm sorry, March of 2001, that Lone Wolf TV, man, this video is going on long. Sucks. Sorry. Uh, that Lone Wolf TV show in March of 2001, remember, came out six months prior to 9-11. And what happened in that TV show? They talked about a terrorist plot where people were going to hijack airplanes and crash them into the World Trade Center. If you haven't seen it, type in The Lone Wolf. And you'll see it. You'll find it. It's really easy. Now, in December of last year, okay, so that's six months prior, right? So in December of last year, and who knows if this is true or not, but I'm just saying, I just want to mention this. So we have, we have proof that they do at least for sure – have released stuff saying exactly what's going to happen as little as six months prior, right? So in December of 2014, what did they release? There was a big history TV made-for-TV movie called The End of Days that was released in, in December. So six months from December, right, we're getting... is Stuff has really started happening this month and last month, and who knows? Maybe that's, you know, and that was called... It was called End of Days, right? So... I don't know if that was if that was the lone wolf from 2001 saying you know being released six seven eight nine months prior, <laughs> saying here's what's about to happen. But I, I find it pretty peculiar that in 2001, six months before it happened, they released something that pretty much told you it was going to happen, and then December of 2014 they release, you know this, <laughs> they release this this t made for TV movie called End of Days that. You know, it could be six months prior to all this stuff happened. I'll leave that for you to decide. I'm going to show you that later. I'm just and and believe it or not, there have been three things that have happened in the news that are word for word what happened in that TV show. Uh, I'm waiting for a few more to happen before I release it. But as far as I'm concerned, it's our it's it is the lone wolf for this year because three things have happened word for word in the news that were published back in, two, in December of 2014, down to an exact almost location of that, that big uh, earthquake that happened in India. Yeah, that show predicted that earthquake, So, and as well as a couple other things. But I'm going to let a couple other things happen before I, before I show it, so I don't just try to really prove it once and for all. Okay, so long video. I apologize if you made it through. Thanks. If not, I understand. I tell you that much. But of course, you're not going to hear me say that because you already clicked off. So thank you to my subscribers and thank you to my supporters. Uh, we appreciate it. And, and my wife too. I, you know, I leave her out. I shouldn't. I feel bad. But, you know, she knows. She knows. So <laughs> we love you guys. You know, well, you know what I mean. That's a stupid thing to say because nobody really loves anybody anymore. But, you know, we, we just, we appreciate the support. So, okay. Bye.